Okay, so this is my Prusa i3 Mark II. I've had it for about four years. It has definitely looked better than it has today, or that it than it does today. And uh, basically, we're gonna fix it up today. So yeah, let's get started. So what we need to do is I got a brand new resin 3D printer. So I printed a bunch of uh, all these orange components on the X carriage. Uh, I 3D printed those so that we can replace them with some resin parts because this plastic is original uh, except for the the z-axis guides uh, on the top but all the things here are original um, I think the only thing that I replaced on this is the thermistor in there so I got a new Pinda probe because this one is on its last leg and I don't think it's working quite right and I've had to modify it a bunch to get it to work with the plate that I have now um, and it got caught in the nozzle a few weeks ago and got all gnarled up like that. So we're going to replace that, but if you can see behind there, maybe not, there's a bunch of glue holding this little bracket on. So the one that I printed now has uh, a little a helper arm to help support to help support this little piece here to keep this level at all times. So I'm hoping that that works out well. But now we gotta take it all apart, so let's do that. First things first is we'll just take off, turn it off, and we'll unplug it. We're gonna take off our spool, and then we can start cutting all of these zip ties away. Gotta get just the whole carriage off. Um, I've got more zip ties, I hope. Um, I'm just gonna come back and we'll do some movie magic. Here are all the parts. See, they kind of just exploded. And that's just all epoxy and super glue. Probably some spit at one point. Um, but I got all the stuff out. Here are all the parts that I have to replace them. Um, I'm very new to resin printing and see all this white in there. I think when I clean these with IPA, I forgot to wash them off. So I did wash this one off and it looks great. Uh, we'll get to the back in a second. But all these ones, they just have some IPA that was left on them. And it just made it all kind of brittle at those spots. I don't think it's really gonna affect it at all. So I'm still gonna use them. Um, but you'll notice on the back of these, especially the big flat ones, I had to use a lot of support material and this is the first time that I printed with this. So it kind of warped a little bit, as you can see there. Um, again, I don't think this is really gonna be a problem. Um, so, because this goes like, oh, sorry. So this will fit like this, and, uh oh, yeah, that looks like it, All right. If it's not right, we will we'll fix it. So that, and then some of the holes didn't, uh, they cured resin over the top of them. So, um, since these, and I just realized that I forgot to print this piece. Okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, so I sanded the backs of them. They look great. 
Um, these ones. These ones I'm not really worried about. Maybe I'll hit that one a little bit because it's going to be uh, interfering with a, an area. But uh, And then I think I'm just going to reuse this back plate. It still feels okay. Uh, it looks fine. Uh, really no complaints. And it doesn't change any of the characteristics uh, with it interfacing with the printer. Uh, so, because our bearings will go in here and here. So, oh, that'll be good. I I'll be happy with that. So, well, we gotta put it back together. Okay, so we finished it up, got all the parts in, and it's not doing the XYZ calibration properly, and I have no idea why. Um, I even replaced the sensor, uh, the Pinda probe right there, with a new one. I'll bite it's an off-brand one, but I thought for sure that would have fixed it. Like you can see here, how the Pinda probe is all the the cable and stuff is all burnt, and you can even see part of the uh, the inner wiring. So I replaced it with this one. And I had to change the cable or the plug over. Uh, you can see like it looks great. It's a brand new probe. Had to trim it a little bit to to fit the length of the. Um, the old the old cable and of course I forgot the heat shrink tubing uh, around the main parts so I had to use some electrical tape but that's fine um, installed it it looks great I even lowered the the Pinda probe as low as I could get it um, it's well not as low as I could get it but it's lower than the the nozzle right now just so that I could try and get a good XYZ calibration and it's just it's still not working it gets this point, this point, the back one, and then this one, and it does three iterations, and after it finishes the last one, and it's over the top of all of them uh, when it checks itself, and it it still says that it failed, and it won't move on to the other uh, five probing spots, which is just so frustrating, because I need this thing working so that I can print it with other stuff. And I've tried changing, reflashing the firmware, the 3.2.3. I've tried ref, uh, reflashing old firmware three, as, as far back as 3.1.0 and it's it still doesn't want to work. So I don't know what to do yet. Uh, I've been thinking about maybe just putting some magnets under here because um, I was thinking it might be the bed that's making that's having the problem. Um, some people talked about removing the power supply. I can only assume that gets rid of any uh, magnetic interference, which could screw with the probe, but you know, it, it wor it's worked before. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. If you guys have any idea on what I should do, or if you have any tips or things to throw in there, let me know. Because this is frustrating. But right now, I plan on using this for some big projects like signs and stuff and I can't use that right now. Uh, I have my other printer that's printing uh, that, that has stuff slotted for it that's much different like little miniatures and airplane models and stuff so uh, this thing I don't know. I can still technically use it um, if I stick a razor blade underneath each spot as it probes it uh, and then take them off when it starts printing and then I have to live adjust the Z at the end, but it's just annoying. Editing Kellen here, and I have to say that it totally failed. I mean, just look at this picture right here. It's It looks horrible. Um, the sensor broke off and it got caught on something on the print. Broke off, created havoc. I don't even know if the stepper motor on the X-axis is working properly. I haven't even tried but I'm for sure going to be going to try and get a BL touch on this thing. When that one comes around, it, it'll be the part two and we'll fix it up again and get printing with it. But until then, it's out of commission and I'm just going to use my resin printer from now on. Uh, I hope that I can get it going with the BL touch in the next couple weeks, but we'll see. Thanks. So I think maybe in the meantime, that's what I'll have to do uh, until I can hear back from you guys or find something online or 
just buy a new printer because this thing is almost five years old and I think I need an upgrade, but we shall see. Alright, uh, that's it for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.